Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for chlorine monofluoride. So here we go. Uh, chlorine monofluoride is just going to be ClF. That's going to give us 7 valence electrons from the chlorine plus 7 valence electrons from the fluorine for a total of 14 valence electrons. Uh, this is another pretty simple one. You just have one chlorine attached to one fluorine. And we can start by single bonding them together and filling in each of their octets. So now each atom has eight electrons. And this should be our final structure. We can go ahead and verify that by checking the uh, formal charges. So the formal charge on the chlorine is going to be equal to the seven valence brought in minus the one single bond minus the two, four, six non-bonding electrons, or formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on the fluorine, it's gonna look very similar. It has seven valence brought in, minus the one single bond, minus the six, two, four, six non-bonding electrons. Also, formal charge of zero. Add those up, it gets you overall charge of zero, which is what we need, because this is not charged, all right? Um, in terms of shape, just with the two atoms, that's going to make this a linear shape. All right. In terms of hybridization, looking at either of these atoms as the central atom, you have one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. So they're both going to have four electron groups, which means we need four hybrid orbitals. So we're going to go with sp3 hybrid. All right, so one, two, three, four, one S and three P's for a total of four hybrid orbitals. And because these two atoms are not the same kind of atom, that is going to make this a polar compound. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.